Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Winter time is coming up, building time is coming up, and time to make money is coming up. Now we have Q4 and soon we have 2025. So I wanted to make this video for you so you could just copy what I did over the last one and a half years with this little B2C chatbot that has been completely running on autopilot since about one and a half years and generated in that time about like 65K ish. Um, we built this in like Q1 2023. That's where we really launched. It took us a while to figure everything out. And in this video, I want to tell you the mistakes that I made and how you can completely avoid that. And basically, if you wanted to, if you have no ideas right now what you should build, copy paste me literally because I will have a template that you can just take and deploy in like 60 minutes and be ready to go and receive payments with a WhatsApp AI b2c chatbot so yeah let's jump right in the project that i'm talking about is a uh, genie ai it's called ask Ginny. um we initially launched this very very close after ChatGPT launched and thought okay there might be a need of people having this in whatsapp and yeah it had actually pretty quickly a uh, product market fit because whatsapp is the biggest uh, social media platform actually in the world it has over 3 billion monthly active users Billion, like imagine that even even in countries just like Germany uh, basically everybody uses whatsapp so it has a massive trust um, it is um, yeah basically by everyone used every single day as the most used messaging platform so it just makes sense to build products on this platform because it has just massive trust so how we charge for this is we charge like six dollars a month subscription um, this is raw chat GPT in this chatbot so there's no custom prompt whatsoever but i would highly suggest if you start a project like this right now that you have a custom prompt and actually in the template that i made in the code template that you could just copy paste i have a section where you can just add any prompt that you want um, and like customize this chatbot to be whatever be a bible chatbot be a um idea generator chatbot or be whatever you come up as an idea you can just change uh, the prompt and like get started i will show you this in a bit how it works in the code and how you could exactly copy that um yeah so it, this has probably been the best project that i've ever started not in terms of like massive revenue like i have some other b2b companies um where i'm focusing on right now they, they make more money but in terms of like peace of mind of mr as you can see I haven't worked on this project for I would say one and a half years like literally nothing no marketing whatsoever and it's still generating me 2k a month and this on 95% profit because AI models have become so incredibly cheap um, we pay like $12 a month to <laughs> to uh, to open AI so this is really nice and even the the churn rate for um, for a B2C app is not even that bad. It's, it's like 7%. Some of Peter Level's SaaS, they have like 20% uh, churn rate. So this is actually not that bad. And it's very stable. It has a, has a lot of uh, payments because it has a lot of um, customers as well. Like, as I said, they pay like $5.99, $6.99 a month. We change the pricing here and there. And they actually stay a long time. Um, customer lifetime value is nearly $80. So... Yeah, they, they not just try it out and then unsubscribe immediately because they, they find it actually valuable having a AI chatbot directly in their favorite messaging app, which is WhatsApp. Yeah, so if you get one subscriber, you, you're already, uh, you can expect to make maybe $80 in their lifetime, which is amazing. Um, yeah, let's jump right in. So I, I showed you this is the project. I mean, if you free to try it out, you will have a, a paywall, but directly here. Um, I made a Notion doc about this. <clears throat> so I made a Notion doc about this, your seven step game plan on how to create a 65K AI chatbot that is basically running on autopilot. So first go to ChatGPT and come up with chatbot ideas. Let's do that right away. I already made a prompt here. All right, I told it, give me 20 ideas for target groups uh, to come up with for the WhatsApp AI bot and it started with, for example, fitness enthusiasts, right? There is million dollar tracking apps in the app store. And you could have, for example, the same on WhatsApp. You could have 
language oh i love that i love that because um because duolingo i think is i think a 10 billion dollar company or something like that crazy oh new parents i love that baby care tips love that pet owners also they spend a lot on their cats right students not really a fan of that they don't have money much mental health and wellness i love that financial planning potentially so yeah there's there's literally a ton of that and i'm sure you have a hundred more ideas that you could come up with so okay that's done now coming up with a good prompt um i will show you in a bit a very good prompt that i did personally for a bible whatsapp chatbot that i just made so i'm going to show you how a very good prompt looks like Getting a WhatsApp number very, very easily. Either you have one or you go to this website. It's called yourbusinessnumber.com. You can click on generate a number and you can choose from UK and US numbers here, which is like for, for, for doing your first board is like super fine. If you want to have very localized ones, I'm sure there's a service for any kind of country in the world, be it Germany or uh, Saudi Arabia or whatever. Great. Um, next one is writing the code um, or, as I said, get my template basically that you can copy paste and you're immediately good to go. You might ask yourself, shouldn't I use um, like third party services like Chatbase or Twilio, for example, right? And I can just warn you about it. Um, so Chatbase is a great program, but um, you cannot monetize your own chatbot. So you cannot add a paywall inside of WhatsApp. Let me show you how that looks like if I open my WhatsApp. All right, we're here in WhatsApp and this is why you do not want to use a third-party service like Chatbase where you can actually not monetize your chatbot. So I just sent a message in here, come up with a funny quote of Tony Stark, right? This is Ginny and it, it gave me a quote, right? So now let me go actually into my Stripe dashboard and unsubscribe myself. So yeah, I just went ahead and unsubscribed myself and now you will see that a paywall will pop up exactly this one here. If I click here, then this will lead me to the subscribe page and only if I go ahead and subscribe here, then I will be able to chat again with the chatbot. And this logic you cannot, for example, build in like Chatbase or any chatbot builder. And on top of that, they will also charge you like massively uh, like overpriced, like 2000 messages for $19 is like insane. If you sell a chatbot to someone else, then um, you will have like hundreds of thousands of messages per month. Um, that's what that's what we have. And with, with native ChatGPT, that's like super, super, super cheap, like with the API. And yeah, so you should definitely uh, not use something like this. Another service that you should never ever touch is uh, Twilio. So they make it very, very easy for you to get started with like a WhatsApp business API and whatever they pop up in Google immediately if you search like how to make a, a chatbot on WhatsApp. However, as you can see here, they have like a rate, rate calculator and it's a complete scam. So WhatsApp also charges you natively based on conversations, but it's, it's actually not very much. Twilio, on the other hand, charges you per message. And you can see this absolutely gets crazily expensive. And we actually started out in the beginning when we launched in December 2022 with Twilio because it was super fast to set it up. Um, but it then got viral, the chatbot, and we got huge builds. Like it was not even profitable, like not even close to profitable from Twilio. And we're like, oh shit, we need to move away from this. Uh, build own infrastructure. And that is like, way 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 cheaper than using twilio um, because your chatbot will have like should have a lot of messages per month right you want people to use the chatbot so do not use do not use twilio so this is basically how you monetize your chatbot now let's look in the actual code that you could use so i switched over here to cursor cursor is an ai code editor by the way i myself am a no coder um, I wrote this entire thing with AI, right? And it works perfectly. It just, it takes a while if you're no coder to, to write all of this, even if you're a coder to make sure everything works and is correctly set up. But if you were to get my template, this is exactly how it would look like. And I'm going to show you how you can like edit your prompt and so on. Of course, you can also build it yourself, but it will probably just take a lot longer time. So if you download that template, then you go ahead and click on open folder. 
you click into the template and click on open and then you have your your template basically open you don't need to touch anything of that basically for you what is important is how you can change the model like the prompt i have a placeholder here for a prompt and let me show you one that i used for a bible ai chatbot that i just built paste the prompt here so yeah this is basically the entire prompt of the bible ai chatbot and it works really really good like it gives very very good answers and yeah you can of course put anything in there and then you have a customized chatbot right this is how you train an ai model nowadays is you just have a very very targeted prompt and then it answers basically only in that way so even if you give like some weird question like oh, what is the capital of thailand or something it will only um come up with answers that is uh, related to your prompt right in this in this case like bible stuff so you can also change of course your open AI model i use gpt40 mini here right now because it's just super 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 cheap and last but not least before you upload your code um, to a service like railway for example that is a service that you can actually use then to host your app is you need to set um, environment var variables this is very very easily so you will have a database you will have a stripe key you will have some whatsapp token and you will have a, a open ai key and the database the stripe and the open ai keys are safe self-explanatory you just need to sign up get the key and like paste it here uh, for the whatsapp one i can show you quickly how that looks like in the back end so this is like a test app. You go to developers.facebook.com uh, slash apps, and then you, you create a WhatsApp app on the developers platform. You add a phone number here that you acquired before, and then you get all the IDs. You get like phone number ID, you get WhatsApp business account ID, and um, yeah, then you need to set up a web hook here, but it's very, very well explained also by Meta. Yeah, and when you then have your prompt and your customized bot, you can basically uh, take that, save that, upload that to a github and then to a server or whatever where you can host it for example railway is like super easy to deploy it's actually like one click from github and then it's like online and then last steps is steps is yeah connect your stripe and open ai go live and then make tiktoks this is how i got my users so i have even a notion document and i have a last video where i went through this entire document on how i got our like 400k ish users and i will actually leave this notion doc as well here in the bio below of this video so feel free to check it out and to get some free marketing source for your ai SaaS. and yeah that was basically it and as i said if you want to speed run this and have the least headache possible you can get my template also linked in the bio below so i hope this video gave you a ton of value of what is possible with AI WhatsApp bots. See you in the next video.